Hello, ladies and gents, boys and girls. It's Oswald Lear at Vivida here with another uh, game tutorial from myself. Uh, this is Gold Rush the game. So, we're going to load up my save file from yesterday just to show you. This is the shops and key areas. So, just in case you've never played the game before, I'm just going to take you over some few key structures, key areas, etc., etc. I'm going to have to turn the volume down slightly because it's a little bit prominent. Uh, the settings, so sound, we're going to go to master and turn that down to say 40%. I'm currently wearing a headset so it's slightly a bit annoying having that in my eardrum. Right, so we're going to bring up the mini map with our uh, select button on our controller and we can use the LB button and RB button to just zoom in and out. So all the key areas are going to be highlighted with these blue markers and some of them have got flags next to them like quick travel markers so this is where the hotel is you've got the petrol station over here so this is where you start the game uh, th this is where you actually start um, and obviously the green flags on the map they situate quick travel points if you look at the key um, that's where the hotel is so you'll drive down this when you excuse me when you first start the game you'll have to drop down this road and around to get into the town you'll pass this gas station and then you'll pass a water tower and as you come to the corner of the road you'll see the bank on the corner of the road the bank's pretty much fundamentally one of the first places you need to go in the game from there you've got then carry on down the road you've then got the uh, normal shop which is where you will buy the, it's the equipment store so where you go and buy equipment you've got the machine shop over here also a quick travel point to the town center um, if you carry on over the train track and towards Totten village area you can go towards the uh, blacksmith but to get to your first parcel, once you go from the equipment store, you head down this route here, down Old Rally Road, Old Railway Road, sorry, and you want to head down this road here. You'll come to this junction just here by these two trees, you'll see the train track. You want to pop over that and head down this pass around here until you get to this like funny looking building here it's a factory area well you'll see two different factories uh, if you pass through the factory and turn to the left you'll come up the road around here and you'll get into your first parcel which is old Arnold and you just come down this road here and park yourself over here just by where your tent is where I'm stood now as you can see it's quite dark at the moment but that's one of the key features so getting back to the key features of the key areas of the game I'll explain what this factory area is so there's a a, a, a magnetite trailer that you will separate magnetite from the gold and there is an area in this magnet factory over here magnetite factory over here where you've got a drop off point it's like a grill in the ground if you come over when you come down this road it's literally the first pad on the right hand side it's by there, there should be like a, a red skip there if you pass the trailer over that that grill and then you go to the back of the trailer and press a button and it, it will empty all of that in you can either then deselect it from the back of your truck and then head round to the blacksmith and upgrade your blacksmither um, or you can take it with I'd rather take it with and then drive down the road and then back again but to be fair depending on the mode that you're playing so if you're playing in hard mode you probably want to leave it behind as much as possible because to be fair you're probably better off leaving your magnetite trailer there and then just quick travel into it with your buckets so just dump a bucket in the back of like you know the back of your car drive there offload it put the bucket back in your car head to the blacksmith back again and then back to your uh, parcel 
Uh, you will only need it probably for this parcel anyway. So other than that, I mean they are the key features and then from there there is obviously your next few parcels so when you come to Rivertown or um, I'm not entirely sure what order they are in um, there's New Hawk parcel, uh, Night Hawk parcel and uh, Pine Valley, I think Pine Valley's next, let's find out um, oh dearie me why did I do that for not entirely sure whether the bank feature is actually open or not hopefully it will be so I'm just going to pop into the tank so I can tell you which order they're in oh it's automatically unlocked so the first parcels are old Arnold um, yeah Rivertown first then Pine Valley and then Nighthawk so um, yeah so on this feature once you've finished Old Arnold, you'll go off to um, the next one, which is Rivertown, which is down here. Which means you'll have to, obviously, come back on yourself and then travel there. Um, I should imagine by that point, this area of town would have been opened up, so you can get there. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get, it's going to be a bit of a long drive. Um, but if you come back to where that rail yard is and then basically head down this route here and along this way and up and around you can get to Rivertown and then for getting to this one up here it's going to be a little bit of a pain because uh, you need to wait until the roads actually open um, so and I should imagine that the easiest route from there to take to it would probably go from the back end of town it's probably going to be across this way and around and up bit of a long route to be fair and then from there you'll then head across this way to the next one and around so anyway that's covering the um, main situated areas I uh, hope you enjoy the video um, and uh, I'll crack on with the next one I'll see you in the next ciao guys